call the first witness. What is your nationality? I was a British citizen by descent through my Scottish-born father. You have two nationalities. My clients are caught completely by surprise. Bill Shorten claims that he has renounced his British citizenship, but he's never proven it. I think he's creating a big issue by failing to do so. They're trying to say I'm some sort of British agent. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. Uh, my father was born in Tumut. I'm not a dual citizen. <laughs> I think he died. Definitely here. It seems that being born in Australia makes me a colonial pom. Kill him! Uh, the issue here is, am I or was I ever entitled to the rights and privileges of a US citizen? And I'm not. But I think the High Court will decide that. I was a uh, citizen of the UK and uh, colonies. I have always thought that I was British, uh, that I was Australian, always thought that I was Australian. First, tell me how old you were. I was 25 years old at the time. And what was the arrangement with your mother? It would appear that she made an application for me uh, to become an Italian citizen. No, look at me. Is that what happened? Uh, at the time, um, I, I thought that was what had happened. Um, OK. Come on up here. All you have to do is tell me the truth and then we don't have a problem. You know how you don't want to lie to your parents? You don't want to lie to me worse. The government set the standard with Matt Canavan. When someone's in that circumstance, they should stand aside until the issue's been resolved. Some guys run and some guys stay. And I'm here to tell you, this boy's soul is intact. Well, I've just been completely transparent. You hold office until such time as death, or you resign, or the High Court finds otherwise. That's how the laws work. It's before the High Court, let the High Court make its judgment. Order in the court! Now, what do we have here? 